Hello everyone. I hope you are doing great. In today's video, we are going to see how can we create mind maps and data visualization using ChatGPT. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about how can we create animated diagrams with the help of Canva? If you are new here, I am Hassan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment now on this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. So you already know that we have now ChatGPT 4.0 available on ChatGPT.com and we have limited responses of ChatGPT 4.0. You can also upload the files right from here. For now, what you need to do is to type a prompt to generate a detailed outline for our mind maps. So I've already got a mind map outline and I will also provide this prompt in the description of this video. So don't worry about that. And this prompt is about generate a detailed project plan for developing a new e-commerce website, including include major milestones, tasks for each milestone and sub task where necessary. So let's see what ChatGPT 4.0 gives us now. Now we have a detailed outline for project plan for developing a new e-commerce website. And if you scroll down, you will see that it was generated by ChatGPT 4.0. Now here's the main thing. You need to type right here, convert this mind map to markdown for markmap.js. So markmap.js is a JavaScript library. They have also a website. We will explore their website, but for now, let's see what is it, it is going to generate for the above outline. So here's the response for the outline and it is generated by ChatGPT 4.0. You need to copy this code and you have to go to markmap js so this is the first link that you need to open and you will get a screen something like this you need to click on try it out and we are going to get our results like this so let's just paste the code right here and here it is so you can see that first of all we have project plan for developing a new e-commerce website then it has spaces Phase one, planning and research, phase two, phase three, and phase four, five, six, and project timeline. So they are going to break down further as in milestones. You can see that milestone one, two, three, four, five, six, and these milestones are also going to break down, such as define project objectives and scope, create wireframes for main pages, home product. This is something like this. So you have got a data visualization for this project plan and for this mind map and you just need to convert a mind map or your project document to markdown or mark map to understand it and you will get the result something like this let's try to convert another prompt so i have also another prompt create a detailed mind map outline for project management so let's paste this prompt and see what are the results for it so it has generated a response for this prompt you can just copy this form and if you want to upload your do project document just upload it from here and type the prompt that create a mind map for this document so it will generate the mind map for this then you have to type a prompt to convert this mind map to markdown so for now it has already converted the mind map to markdown so we can just copy this code and paste it in the markmap.js website so here is the updated data visualization for this project management. So project management includes project initiation and planning, execution, monitoring and control, closure and post project activities. So these are the basic steps and activities of project management and they are breaking down further, such as identify project objectives and project scope, et cetera. So this is just an example. You can obviously upload your document or type your prompt or give your project details to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to convert that details to mind maps and then convert those mind map outlines to mark down for mark map to understand it. Make sure that you include markmap.js in your prompt like I did that in the previous prompt markmap.js. So this is how you can data visualization for your project details or outlines or something like that.
So this was all about today's video. If you have any questions, comment down this video. If you like this video, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when I publish the next video. Thank you guys for watching.